Welcome everybody and in this video we are going to talk about how to use product inventory limits. There are two places where you can do that. One is in a funnel directly and the use case for that could be potentially when you're selling tickets for events. I'm going to show you that in a minute and a second option is you're selling straight from an e-commerce store. So let's dive right into it. Okay so here we are in our funnels under sites funnels you find the funnel which you are selling the product through. In this case we have already attached the product. So you can click on product and then you can see here the product is attached. You click on the three dots and you click on edit and you scroll further down and you can see here maximum units per order available is 10. So we cannot sell more than 10 tickets for this event. Let's show you how this looks in real life. So here it is. Here is the form. Let's fill that out real quick. That's a two-step order form. So here we go. You see the quantity here, right? So you can see there's only 10 available. But let's say we would like to purchase more than 10. Let's put 119 and you can see here the message popping up a maximum of 10 units are only available. Okay, so let's go back and put 10 and let's put test card credentials. There you go. We just purchased all of these 10 tickets available. So to remind you, you go to products, you edit the product, scroll down additional options and you can put a maximum of 10 right here. Okay. The second option is our e-commerce store, which looks like this. So here are two demo products. For this first demo product, we have stock available. For this second demo product, we do not have stock available. So in order to modify the inventory here, you go to payments, you go to products, then you see demo product two, demo product one, right? Demo product one, where is stock available? Scroll down, I'm going to show you here, track inventory. That's what you check. And then you have this little box popping up 10. We put 10 as an availability and we want to continue selling when out of stock. We do want this product to keep listed on our website when we hit zero anyway. Okay. The other product where you can see it's grayed out and we can't even purchase it. That was product demo two. Let's edit, scroll down. And here you can see the available quantity is zero. That's why it's in the front end grayed out. So we can't even add it to cart. So there's two different variants, one yellow one, one green one, two different pricing. We can't add it to cart simply because our inventory our available quantity here is zero. If you want to purchase the demo product one, click on it. Then you can see we can purchase it because there's 10 available. You clicked on add to cart. You can add as many as you like. Okay. If it's seven, it looks like this view cart. And you can see the quantity you're selecting. Let's say if there is more, if we want 11, but I know there's 10 available, right? And then you're just going to fill out your details, make the payment. And here we go. We've purchased our product. Now, since I've purchased this a few times now and the purchase quantity was above what's available and we did check my continue selling when out of stock, it now shows our available quantity is at minus seven. Now, if I uncheck this one, hit save and we go to the product, it's not available since we are at minus seven. I hope that makes sense and you now know how to manage your stock on the platform. I will see you in the next video.